Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. It's stolen by Halliburton. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. The shot by Nimhart, no good. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for New York. DiVincenzo on the wing. Hartenstein. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Back to Halliburton. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. High energy throw down that time by Halliburton. Not wasting any time or motion. Brunson with it. He's a tough guy to check. Averaging almost 28 points a game. Turner in the high post. Pass to Nimhart. And stolen by Brunson! Here's Bogdanovich. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Boy, Harden is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. Here's Neesmith. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Now here's Brunson. Rebound by Turner. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. Inside. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. And able to impact the game at both ends is Miles Turner-Clark. You know, I like the fact that he's dangerous on offense, but more importantly, he's led the league multiple seasons in blocked shots. And he does not take time off at the defensive end of the floor. Pass to Turner. And there it is for him. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. One fifty-six left in the first quarter here. Bogdanovich, no good. And stolen by Brunson. Now DiVincenzo. Oh, and Turner with a block. Man, the defense of Turner is astounding. I mean, he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Knicks. I must say, their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. And each year, Brunson seems to get better. And that's a testament to his impressive work ethic and drive. One thing about the Pacers, Clark, year in, year out, they compete. And you know, it doesn't matter who's on the roster. They can and will outwork most teams. Even the best teams can't afford a letdown against the Pacers. Good work by Mather in getting rid of the ball. When somebody has a better shot, you got to throw it his way. And here's Brunson from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Siakam. Back to McConnell. Achua with a steal. Bogdanovich from long range. Pacers with a rebound. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side. I mean, if they weren't already, it should make for some fairly high drama. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Two points. That one goes. Brunson's got eight. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. Here's McConnell. Missed inside. 
Brunson looks it over. From downtown. The shot that time, not on target. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for the Knicks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense guys are just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And they say small ball is on the rise. But you look at the MVPs of Lake Clark, a lot of superstar bigs. Yeah, that's a great point, B.A. I mean, Embiid, Jokic, Giannis, I mean, with the floor spaced, I think it's freed up everybody that has ball skills to be able to make plays. And a lot of these guys are north of seven feet that are doing it, whether it's off the dribble or pass and catch or knocking down mid-range and long-range shots. I think it's added to the versatility of stars in the game, the different positions where you can start from because of how the game is played now. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Listen, Indiana is not a free agent hotspot, but you asked Tyrese Halliburton, it's a great place to play. He said, quote, Midwest nice is a real thing. The genuineness of the people, the way they act. I really value people waving as you walk by or smiling. That matters to me. That small town feel, that Midwest feel. Brian? Yeah, he seems right at home, Allie. Thank you. You know, some threes look better than others, and Brunson's lefty stroke from three is a beautiful thing. And, and they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Burks. He's scoreless. Spins. Six on the shot clock. The bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by two. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Now here's Brunson. 13 points in the game. Here's Sims. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Grant. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. Goes back up. That one no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Here's Matherin. And he throws it down with one hand. Matherin's drive, really impressive. The speed at which he got to the rim. Not easy to keep up with him. Pass to DiVincenzo. Drills it from deep. DiVincenzo's got his second bucket on the night. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Turner, no good. The Knicks with the lead. DiVincenzo on the wing. From the arc. Pacers with a rebound. Halliburton on the wing. 17 points in his last outing. To the inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Second nice job five. by Halliburton, showing you the toughness that time, going right into that defense and drawing the foul. And when you watch Halliburton run point, he makes life easy for his team. You know, he's like a pied piper. He's a guy that 
other people gravitate to and enjoy playing with. Always has his head up. He's excellent at reading angles and situations and using the right pass at the right time and rarely seems to four shots. I mean, that's the quintessential playmaking point guard if ever there was one. They get the rebound. Here's Sims. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Here's Halliburton. Halliburton goes up top to throw it down. Halliburton, such a special player. And his rush hour handles round out his game. Here's Burks. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. Bogdanovich, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Halliburton. And it's Halliburton! Gets it to go inside! And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? The three, DiVincenzo. Drains it. Now he's three for five. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. Cannot give him any room defensively. You've got to eliminate his airspace. Halliburton puts it in. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And he lobs it up top. Oh, I love watching him flush it home, showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Nick's out in front, up by five. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Charge to the Pacers. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Indiana trailing here. To the wing, right side. Here's Siakam. Hartenstein pulls it in. And here's New York now. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. Looking ahead, they've got the Warriors coming to town for their next game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Shot clock at six. Here's Brunson. It's Brunson. Work it inside. Brunson doesn't fear going in amongst the trees. Remarkable poise there inside. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Bogdanovich may not be a star, but he has respect. All-star Kevin Durant said, quote, guys like him challenge you with their fundamentals. He can dribble, shoot, and pass. He's methodical and efficient with his movements. A guy like that can play with his brain and also with his skills. It presents a unique challenge, Brian. Boy, that is the truth. Nice stuff there, Al. Thank you. And the Knicks call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Leading by five. Here's Brunson outside. And Brunson won't miss many of those. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. To the paint. Pass to Nimhart. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. 
you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now in South Philly. I think when his coach looks at Andrew Nimhart, he sees lots of potential there, Grant. Oh, yes, he does, B.A. And for a second-round pick in 2022, he's been a steal. A pure point with size at 6'5", that enables him to play at either guard spot. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Nimhart's got four points now in the quarter. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Now here's Brunson. 18 points for him. DiVincenzo can't hit. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Bogdanovich, no good. Pretty even game going on here in Indiana. Pass to Neesmith. Back to Siakam. Smith with it. Siakam outside. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Ah, nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Hartenstein. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Here's Smith. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Jalen Smith punishing that rim. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for New York. Two-point game. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. The Knicks making a switch here. Your Indiana Pacemates are turning the temperature up. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. You know, Clark, what you marvel about with Halliburton, the accuracy from both the field and the line. Well, there are very few guys that are part of the 50-40-90 club, and every year he's flirting with that. And when he doesn't have the shot that he wants, what I like is that he just simply makes the right basketball pass. Here's McBride. Hasn't got one to fall yet. Oh, unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Now here's Bogdanovich. He has a clear impact on this offense, putting up over 19 a game. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Always good to see Bogdanovich use his height to his advantage because he's got the size needed to grab those offensive rebounds. And here we go, the Knicks in transition. This one for three. The shot won't fall. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. The defense just can't let Siakam get inside positioning like this because he's looking to duck it home. Outside Bogdanovich. There's the triple. Sinks the tray. Bogdanovich has got seven points. Training his first three of the game. No doubt, hoping to build up a little momentum from outside. Tyrese Halliburton, take a bow, young fella. You deserve it. You have been outstanding. Here's McBride. He's averaging about six points per game. Left side, Bogdanovich. Pass to Hartenstein. Clock at six. That shot off. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Here's Halliburton. Give him 23. Nice shot by Turner. And now just a three-point New York lead. He's so dangerous in the pick and roll. Halliburton beating the defense with that pass right there. 
and he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? It's the Knicks. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Here's Brunson. And the layup is good. Brunson's got 22. And no matter how the D's coming at him tonight, Brunson has adapted. And that's what great scores do. They figure it out. A big group substitution here for Indiana. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He told his team, once you grab the rebound, run with the ball. Don't give them a single second to catch their breath. We control the pace of this game, not them. Guys, expect the pace to pick up. And Allie, thanks. Here's Brunson. Brunson assertive on the take. Halliburton goes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got 27. Great speed displayed that time by Tyrese Halliburton. Went right to the rack when he saw the gap in the defense. Here's Brunson outside. And he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Pass to Achua. And here's Brunson. 6 to shoot. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Burks. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And now an eight-point Nick lead. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Boy, Turner is a long, fluid, athletic big guy. Great length. He's more than capable of finishing inside. Oh, Halliburton leaving no doubt. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Back to Brunson. From deep. Another three. He's showing no signs of letting up here. And stolen by Brunson. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Rejected by Siakam. And the coaching staff, they love this. I mean, Siakam, he's engaged, aggressive, just getting after it on the defensive end. What a big-time play by Tyrese Halliburton. Simply putting his team on his back. He so good, Halliburton. In a close game, it's great to have guys you can count on to knock down free throws. Right side, DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Picked by Bogdanovich. And Brunson, here we go. What a finish! Jalen Brunson! And I like it. I mean, using the strong frame, Brunson pushes through the foul and sinks the shot. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Knicks? Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Outside Brunson. Uncovered. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. Brunson's got 13 points now in the quarter. 
And I love the trust between Brunson and his guys. I mean, working so hard to set each other up. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. He takes it in. He got a piece of it. Out left to the wing. And here's Brunson from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. 55 seconds left to the game. Here's Halliburton. And it's in. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Here's Brunson. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Count it! Proving he has the clutch DNA. Love seeing Turner up his game during these big possessions. He sinks the clutch free throw. He can't sink it, and that was an important free throw. Left a little on the table there, but at least he put them in front. Back to Halliburton. Down low. Yes! Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. Now a timeout called by New York. They're behind by one. Twelve seconds left to the fourth. Here's Brunson. Pass to Bogdanovich. And there's a three-second violation. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. And so it's the Pacers who come out on top here. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that'll wrap it up, folks.